Welcome to another episode of Two Chairs, One Technology, a Roland Schwartz video blog on interesting aspects around LT and LT Advanced. With me today is Raul Sierra, Senior Application Engineer with Roland Schwartz. Raul, there's recently have been a lot of buzz around infrastructure testing and uh, the word multi-standard radio is always uh, uh, mentioned. So can you explain that a little bit further? Yes, Andreas, thank you. And I actually uh, put together a demonstration to show you the uh, multi-standard radio uh, transmissions of a base station and how we can utilize the test equipment to debug any potential issues with transmitter because having multi uh, many standards transmitted in a multi st uh, carrier scenario out of the base station creates a new set of challenges not seen before. What I have with me today is a single generator to emulate the transmission of a base station. Um, my transmit signal consists of GSM, two carriers of GSM, one LTE, one UMTS, the GSM carriers placed at the edges of the band of the transmission. Typical configuration for a multi-standard, uh, multi-carrier uh, base station. Now, in a traditional approach, I would take my spectrum analyzer and look at each one of those carriers uh, one at a time to understand its modulation quality. For example, I can use my UMTS mode to look at code domain, EVM, etc. At the same time, I can tune into one of my GSM carriers to analyze it. Uh, in this case, I'm showing how we can look at its power dynamics. We can see that um, only one of the slots, maybe two of the slots, are being uh, utilized in this uh, GSM scheme. But um, what we can take from this is that each one of those modes takes an individual capture of the signal to do its own analysis. Therefore, there's no correlation in between the data uh, acquired by one mode uh, after I switch to the other. Now, to solve this problem and to further enhance the analysis of the instrument, we utilize a multi-standard radio mode. When I put my FSW in a multi-standard radio analysis mode, I take a wide band capture of the signal that includes all four carriers and that I can analyze then further by uh, looking at each one of the carriers individually. Now, when I en enable multiple analysis modes in this, uh, uh, in this mode of the analyzer, then I can have a constant relationship of time one to the other given that all four carriers were captured at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I'm going to narrow the span of my analysis. And I can see the same view, similar view, what I had um, from my spectrum analyzer. One more extra thing that I'm going to enable is my external trigger to have a constant value um, that triggers my acquisition. After I do this, I can go back and re-enable my UMTS analysis I just need to tune in to the right frequency. And I can see again the same type of analysis that I had before in my spectrum analyzer view. Um, now, to further analyze, uh, analyze the signal, the incoming signal, I'm going to enable one more view. And that'll be the peak codomain error. When I enable my peak codomain, view, I can see now that there are certain slots during the transmission that have constantly higher EVM than the rest. Okay? This is an area of problem for this particular base station that I'm emulating. Now to understand where that distortion might be coming from, I can do further analysis um, of, of the other carriers. First, I suspect my GSM bursting might have something to do with the dis distortion. So I'm going to enable my general purpose signal analyzer and fine tune it to the frequency of my GSM carrier. I can see now in this view the power versus time of one of my GSM carriers. I can definitely see that maybe one um, of the slots is active only 
Um, so there's a bunch of idle time. Now I'm going to utilize one brand new feature, um, a timeline. It's a global variable that I can use to mark my traces. And this marker, wherever I put this marker, I can utilize the touch screen. I can also utilize um, the input parameter. It will show up in all of my measurement views. So I can go back into my UMTS view, and then I can see the same marker now shows up in those time domain measurements. Um, I can see that my marker is already placed somewhat relatively close to the area of interest, which is the second slot in my UMTS transmission. Now to further fine tune the specific area of trouble, I'm going to enable one more measurement. What I'm looking now is my EVM versus chip. Now, this EVM versus chip window is only looking at one slot at a time. And I can see that the slot being analyzed is my first slot, not necessarily the area of interest. So I'm going to set my analysis range to my second slot and go back to my EVM versus chip display. In here, I can take my global marker and place it right on top of where I see the highest distortion. I can see right in this area of the screen um, where I have the highest EVM in my uh, EVM versus chip display. Now, after I tune it right into the area of the distortion, I can go back into my IQ analyzer where I'm looking at my GSM burst, and I can see how that line uh, lines up perfectly to the rising edge of my GSM burst. Now, by having access to this multi-standard radio analysis capability, I can troubleshoot when something, uh, when distortion caused by power dynamics of my GSM signal interfere with my other carriers, something that you would not be able to do with a traditional spectrum analyzer. So as you can see, Andreas, having now base stations transmit multiple technologies and multiple carriers at the same time creates a new set of challenges. And this example that I showed you is one of the many problems that uh, base stations are encountering uh, nowadays with this new functionality of multi-standard radio. Okay, thanks Raul for the great explanation on multi-standard radio and how to use the FSW signal and spectrum an analyzer from Roland Schwartz to solve problems, to identify problems, to debug problems. Uh, we hope you had fun to watch um, Two Chairs, One Technology, a Roland Schwartz video blog on interesting aspects on LT and LT Advance. Don't miss the next one. <laughs>